classify this one as a 700 plus questions for different reasons. Let's get started with the first one. This is from counting methods. What is the sum of all three digit positive integers such that all the digits of each of the numbers is even? The saying essentially, pick a number something like this. The number can be a 468. All digits are even. The number could be a 244. All the digits are even, right? A digit can repeat, but all digits should be even. We need to find out not how many such numbers exist. We need to find out the sum of all such numbers. For instance, we need to add a 468 to a 244 to all such numbers and then come up with an answer, which is going to be probably a large enough number, right? So that is the final objective. So we're going to be approaching this question in probably two broad steps. The first step, let's find out how many such numbers exist. Right. We have done questions which are easier variants of this. For example, someone, you, you probably would have come across this question. What is the sum of all three digit numbers that can be formed by reordering, let's say, the digits of this number 246? Right. All we'll do is we'll find out the number of ways in which it can be reordered. We'll add all the digits and we'll say that 246, 264, blah, blah, blah. There'll be six such variants. Add those numbers and come up with an answer. That's a very easy question. Once you know how to go about it. Here, the thing is, you don't have such small number of numbers. You have probably many, many more. We we'll have to find out the sum of all of these three digit numbers where all the digits are even. Let's get started. Let's first, as I mentioned, find out how many such numbers exist. Any of these numbers that we are talking about will be formed using the digits from this set, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Yes, 0 is an even number, right? There's no doubt about it at all. So a number such as a 408 is an even number. 780 is an even number. Sorry, yeah, 780 is an even number, but will not satisfy what we are looking at. 680 will satisfy our condition. So all three digits need to be even. Let's get started. How many such numbers are there is what we are going to be starting at. Any three digit number is going to have three positions like this, right? This is the hundreds place, this is the tens place, and this is the units place. Obviously, for a three-digit number, the hundreds place cannot start with a zero. So only possibilities that we have are basically two, four, six, and eight. So how many cases can appear? For, how many possibilities exist for the hundreds place? We have four such possibilities. Come to the tens place. It can very well be a zero. A four zero eight is a good example for it. So how many possibilities exist for the tens place? Zero, two, four, six, eight. All of these digits are definitely possibilities for the tens place. So five possibilities for the tens place and five for the units place. So how many total numbers exist that satisfy our condition that all three digits are even? Four times, five times, five. Twenty times, five. Hundred such three digit numbers exist. It's not way too many. How many total three digit numbers exist? We have 900 three digit numbers that exist of which only 100 of them exist where all three digits are even numbers. Probably we'll have a little more than 100 where all three digits are basically odd numbers. Let's find out how many are there. If you want, you guys can take a minute, pause the video, do it yourself and check out. It's not a much bigger number, which essentially means that what is more common is that some of the digits are odd, some of the digits is even, is basically the most common among these 900 numbers, right? Let's leave that discussion later. Let's just focus on this. We have 100 of these numbers. We'll capture this in a printed form and then look at finding out the sum of all of these 100 numbers. Computing the number of such numbers, the possible values for the hundreds place are only four. The hundreds place cannot be a zero. The units and tens place can include a zero. So all five values are possible. So total number of such numbers possible are four times five times five, which is equal to 100. So step two is finding out the sum of these. The step two, I've broken it as a step two, step three, and probably a step four. Step two, what am I going to do is basically I'm going to compute the sum of the units and tens place. Let's get started. What all could be the possible values for the units place? The units place can be a zero, can be a two, can be a four, can be a six, can be an eight. How many such numbers satisfy our condition? We found out that there are hundred numbers that satisfy the condition where all three digits are even. Each of these five digits, we are trying to find out sum of units place. That's our objective right now, right? Sum of units place is what we are finding out. Each of these five digits is equally likely to appear in the units place of this hundreds, num hundreds, hundred numbers. So how many of these numbers will have zero in the units place? Hundred upon five because they're equally likely. So 20 numbers will have zero in the units place. 20 of them will have two in the units place. 20 of them will have four. 20 of them will have six. 20 of them will have eight. So what is going to be the sum of the units place? 20 times 0 plus 20 times 2 plus 20 times 4 plus 20 times 6 plus 20 times 8. So sum of the units place is equal to 20 times of 0 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8. 
because these numbers are very friendly when I'm just going to blindly brute force at it. 2 plus 4 is 6, 6, 6, 6 plus 6 is 12, 12 plus 8 is 20, 20 times 20 is equal to 400. Some of you who are more inclined to finding a method, you might probably figure out that this is in an AP and the middle term is therefore 5, 5 times 4 equals 20, that's also perfectly fine. I will in fact welcome people doing that because you're using that as an opportunity to recap some other concept, right? Nothing else works, 0 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 is a 20, 20 times 20 is 400. So completed part 1, we have found out the sum of the units place. Look at it, will it not be the same thing when it comes to some of the, some of the tens place? Because all of these 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 can appear in the tens place. We have 100 numbers, so each digit is equally likely to appear. So sum of units place is the same as the same as sum of tens place. Both are not going to be different, which is going to be the same 400. It just added the digits which works out to 400. We need to find out the value of that. Look at a number like let's say a 74. 74 is a 4 times 1 unit place. We don't need to do anything. But the 7 is a 7 times 10. If it's in the tens place, the value is 10 times the number in the tens place. The number in the tens place that we would have got as a sum is a 400. So the value of all of these is going to be equal to 400 times 10, which is equal to 4000. So we compute it, the sum of the units place, which is 400. We have found out the sum and the corresponding value of the tens place, which is equal to 4000. We can't replicate the same thing for the hundreds place, because in the hundreds place, zero is not a possibility. So what all possible values can appear in the hundreds place? Hundreds place, we know there are only four possible values, two, four, six, and eight. Now, how many numbers do we have? We have the same hundred three digit numbers, which satisfy our condition. Each of these four digits are equally likely to appear. So 100 upon 4, 25 of these numbers will start with a 2, 25 will start with a 4, 25 will start with a 6, and 25 will start with an 8. So sum of the hundreds place is going to be 25 times 2 plus 25 times 4 plus 25 times 6 plus 25 times 8, which is 25 times of 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8. You added a 0 or you do not add a 0, the value of the sum is going to remain the same. So this sum is going to be at 20. 20 times 25 is equal to 500. So this is the sum of just the digits in the hundreds place. What is the value of this sum? value of the sum of hundreds place is going to be equal to 500 times 100 because it's in the hundreds place. So this is equal to 50,000. So value of the hundreds place is 50,000. Value of the tens place, we found it to be equal to a 4,000. That's what we have found out here. This is part two. Value of the units place, we computed it to be equal to a 400. So the total sum of all of these hundred numbers is 54,400. Summarize steps 2, 3, and 4 in a printed form in the next slide. Computing the sum of the units and tens place. Units place, all five digits are likely to appear. We have 100 such numbers. So each of these numbers is likely to appear in 20 of these numbers. So sum of the units place is going to be 20 times of 0 plus 4 plus 2 plus 6 plus 8, which is equal to 400. Same thing works for the tens place too. So sum of the digits is 400. Value of that is equal to 4000 because we are talking about the tens place. When it comes to the hundreds place, we don't have zero as a possibility for the hundreds place. So only four numbers can appear in the hundreds place. We have hundred numbers. So each number is likely to appear the same number of times. So hundred upon four, 25 times two will be in the hundreds place. 25 times four, 25 times six, 25 times eight. So sum of the hundreds place is 25 times of this sum, which is equal to 500. The value works out to 50,000. So total value is equal to 50,000 plus 4,000 plus 400, which is 54,400, right? So slightly difficult question because quite a few places where you could go wrong. Some of us who might very quickly, smartly think that, let's find out the sum of all 900 such numbers because there are only 903 digit numbers. Let's divide that value by a two and we'll get the answer because we know that half of those numbers should have even digits, half of them should have odd digits. But we missed out one big chunk where some of the numbers are odd, some of the numbers are even. We are interested in a very small subset. Of the 900, only 100 satisfy the condition we are looking at. It will only be 125 which will satisfy the condition that all of them are odd. So we counted out this 225, three-fourths of the number that we have are not fitting into these two categories. So you can't do a half and half. So for those people, there's one answer choice which could get you a trip into it. The 2,47,000 odd, some number, that huge number that you're seeing, that number is the answer to that. So quite a few places where one could go wrong. So yes, there's a smart method provided they're equally likely. So always watch out for all digits being even, all digits being odd, are those the only two possibilities and are they equally likely possibilities, which in this case it is not. So dividing this by two is definitely going to lead us in an incorrect direction. Before you leave, two things. Sign up as a trial user at wzkwo.in slash core. It's one of the most comprehensive online GMAT course. Get started with a free topic, statistics and averages. Build momentum to your GMAT preparation. 
subsequently pay up and unlock the remaining topics lastly subscribe to the channel youtube.com/vizaco and spread the word among your friends who are preparing for gmat you may also choose to join this channel as a member for a small monthly fee and enjoy member only perks that come with it and will help you boost your gmat preparation